Hi, I'm Miss Wheeler and I'm doing today's Chertsey High School pop quiz. What is the best gift you've ever received? I think there are a couple. When I was a little girl, I received a drum kit for Christmas and I had no idea my parents were getting it for me. I just remember bursting into tears because I was like, this is amazing. And I think most recently um, would probably be my engagement ring for my fiance. Okay. What movie slash movies make you cry? I think any movie that has a dog in it would probably make me cry. I'm very attached to dogs. My favourite film in the world would probably be Pretty Woman. I just love the kind of old-fashioned romance and they get together at the end and it's so cute. Yeah. Do you have any secret talents? Um, I don't know if it's a secret talent. About two and a half years ago I bought um, my, first, my first home with my fiancé and um, we kind of did it all up and we recently renovated and I, we built the kitchen together. It's not, I don't know if it's a secret, but I think I'm pretty dab hand at DIY and I think it's a good talent to have, so I'm gonna go with that one. Just get this one. <clears throat> what is the hardest word for you to pronounce? There are quite a few, I'm not gonna lie. The longer word for hippo, which I'm not gonna try and say, and um, solemnity, yeah, put it all together, that word, Sol solemnity. I have to really think about saying it. It's not even that long, but yeah, that word. Yes. What is the best book you ever read and why did you love it? One of the books that really sticks in my mind is a book called Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. Um, she's a fantastic writer and it's a really fantastic book that talks about kind of two completely different people trying to come together. There's actually a BBC One drama adaptation of it and it was it was really good actually. So yeah, I think that's my favourite book. What is your favourite dance move? I'm a pretty embarrassing dancer, I'm not gonna lie. I love a boogie. But for a particular move, I think probably big fish little fish cardboard box kind of move. It's really simple. I don't really know. Big fish little fish cardboard box. Did I always want to be a teacher? No. When I was little, um, I initially wanted to be a cardiothoracic surgeon, which was a surgeon that specialised on the heart and lungs. Um, and then I wanted to be a forensic pathologist, which sounds a bit weird, but I think it was a reflection of the TV shows I used to watch, Holby City, Silent Witness. And then I kind of really got into music, uh, did my music degree, and kind of really fell in love with teaching um, younger people. And so I really wanted to pursue it as a career. cheese chocolate what can I not miss on TV I absolutely love my soaps so Emmerdale Coronation Street extenders now anything on Netflix I'm trying to finish friends I haven't watched all of friends yet and so no spoilers please I wonder if I have to hold it or if I can just go uh, what is your favourite couch snack? I have an unhealthy obsession with crisps. You know you could buy like a 12 pack of Space Raiders and like Space Raiders are like your lit little bag of crisps. I would easily go through like four, five, six packets of those. Just like if you empty them out and put them in a bowl, it doesn't look that bad that you're going through four, five or six packets of small crisps. It's only bad when somebody catches you out doing it, so. What word would your friends use to describe you? If I'm pretty honest, outgoing, a little bit loud, but like a good, a good, like outgoing, eccentric kind of personality. And I hope they would say I was reliable, kind of passionate about my friendships, and so I'll always be there. We'll try to be there. What was the last 
song stuck in your head this morning was probably um, Innuendo by Queen, which is a cracking song. This one's a bit too high to like. How did you make your first pound? I think just probably doing chores for my parents. Yeah, I think helping out around the house, doing bits like that. popped a hole in it and it's deflating uh, student question if I could be a character from a sitcom who would I be thinking back to like a show I'm watching at the moment which is Friends um, I think I would probably be Monica she's very particular about how she likes things and I think People who are super close to me know that I like things done in a particular way. So I would take that bit from Monica. I don't think I would be entirely Monica. I think I have a bit of the like sarcasm of Chandler. And he is very funny. And I like to think I'm quite funny. Um, but yeah, I think definitely be Monica. I hope you've enjoyed the pop quiz today. Um, stay tuned and go onto YouTube next month to watch next month's pop quiz.